I'd like to welcome everyone. I know it sounds like a broken record, but thanks for coming. I know a lot of you traveled a long ways to get here. And i uh, just like to make note of you know, how far some of these folks come. We've got California people here. All the way from the great state of uh, New Jersey. This is just my family. Let's see, uh, we have the St. Louis. Uh, let's see, we got Illinois, we got Minnesota, Tennessee, Wisconsin, over here, let's see, and I understand, well, first of all, Brett's grandma is here, and she's the only grandma who was able to make it. She came all the way from the Lone Star State, Texas. I almost forgot, is there anyone here from Iowa? I thought that might have it. Okay, I'm Tim. You know my wife, Patty. Over here we've got uh, Pam and Rick's self, breast parents. And people our age with grown kids, you know you're happy. You can only be happy when your kids are happy. So that makes us four the happiest people in the room. With maybe the exception of uh, these two over here. <laughs> Speaking of Katie, as some of you may know, she really doesn't care for being the center of attention. <laughs> Is that a true statement? Okay. So I promised I wouldn't tell any funny, embarrassing Katie stories up here. You can see me later. Yeah, you know, away from the mic, um, I'll fill you in. Uh, I do, however, have to say how beautiful you are today. And every day. Uh, but more importantly, how beautiful you are on the inside. That's every day, too. So I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, you're one of my favorite people. <laughs> to Brett, but I am going to let him off the hook. I do want to say thanks for making this official your son-in-law. I thought you were our son-in-law. But, uh, anyway, uh, some of you know, Patty and I raised six kids. They all got through college by hook or by crook. Skin in their teeth, but they got through it. Uh, we're very proud of that. But today, Katie, get me. Um, she's the last to be married, we hope. And, so uh, that means that uh, Patty and I, we're done. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry about this. Uh, I was going to read this long letter from uh, that John Adams, one of our founding fathers, wrote to his daughter of marrying age, advising her on what to look for in a man. Really long, I won't bore you with it, but it was, uh, it covered everything from kind, being kind and gentle to good with money and not afraid to laugh at himself, that, those kind of things. I never shared it with Katie because uh, I didn't want to inter interfere with uh, affairs of the heart, so. Uh, but tonight, I am pleased to announce that Brett scored high marks on all categories. <laughs> so good job, Katie. Keep up the good work, Brett. <laughs> all kidding aside, we're really happy to have you in our family. You know. You know. Special thanks to the newly ordained the Right Reverend Joel <laughs> for officiating the ceremony today. Was that great? You know, Joel, you missed your calling. Your Uncle Jerry asked if you'd hear his confession later. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'd like to thank Ken Funkhauser back there. He's my neighbor. He helped me build the uh, centerpieces on all the tables, those wooden things. He's got a great woodworking shop and he all the knowledge, so really he did it. But, uh, and yeah, I'm that cheap, I didn't want to. <laughs> so, 
But thanks, Kim. Um, let's see, back to Katie and Brett. And this is like a broken record. But we watched them over the last eight or nine years, and one thing was obvious from the start. They, uh, they really get each other's sense of humor. They make each other laugh all the time. Not sometimes, but all the time. And not one more so than the other. I mean, they, they really do get each other. And with a foundation like that, I mean, how could you miss? So we're really happy. Uh, Katie, I saved this for last. You'll know why. Your big brother, Matt, would be very happy for you and Brett. Also very proud of you today. So, now I think it's time for a toast. Is that right? I learned this from my brother Bart. He's back there today, years ago. It's short to the point, covers all the bases, and it goes like this. Everybody reach your glass. To health, wealth, and love, and time enough to enjoy all three. Cheers. To the newlyweds.